At 10 o'clock on the morning of May 27, 2015, history was being made in a courtroom in New York City. Attorney Stephen Wise was arguing that chimpanzees deserve legal rights similar to those granted to human beings. Most important among those rights, he argued, is the right to freedom and self-determination. Inside the courtroom, Judge Barbara Jaffe was listening intently, along with the unusually large crowd of spectators that filled the room to capacity and spilled into the lobby outside. Mr. Wise has been building his case for more than 30 years, and in many ways this moment is the culmination of all of his efforts. As Wise said later, just being here is a victory. Stephen Wise is lead attorney and founder of the Non-Human Rights Project, an organization that uses a common law-based strategy to win essential legal rights for animals other than humans. Rather than appeal to existing laws or legal precedent, they make their arguments using the latest scientific evidence, moral reasoning, and basic common sense. The case that Mr. Wise makes for chimpanzee rights is simple. Although chimpanzees are currently treated as things under the law, property that can be owned, they are in fact highly intelligent, self-aware animals that are entitled to certain rights just as humans are. His goal is to have chimpanzees be granted personhood which would then give them a whole series of rights as individuals. Specifically, Wise was in court arguing on behalf of two chimpanzees, Leo and Hercules, who are being held in a lab at Stony Brook University. His goal is to have the two chimpanzees set free from the lab and brought down to a large 200-acre sanctuary located in Fort Pierce, Florida. Wise does not claim that the chimpanzees are being abused or mistreated in any way. He does not think they should be set free because they need protection from harm. His claim is even more radical than that. Wise argues that they should be set free because we simply do not have the right to cage them. As intelligent, sentient creatures, they are entitled to freedom, just as humans are. In his argument, Wise cited the latest research on chimpanzee intelligence, their emotional complexity, and their ability to recognize themselves as individuals separate from others. He also noted that certain groups of humans were previously treated as property, specifically women and slaves, before finally being granted personhood. So there is some precedent for expanding our notion of who deserves individual rights. Wise feels we have arrived at this pivotal moment because the mindset of the nation has slowly changed over the past few decades, fueled in part by new scientific findings about animal intelligence as well as years of animal rights activism. Most of the people who turned up to witness the court proceedings were supporters of animal rights who were sympathetic to Wise's cause. Here's what some of them had to say. Okay, so today uh, I drove here with one of my students to witness a landmark case in conversation about the legal right of an institution to hold a, another sentient being that's not human. Uh, it's important to me because I teach in a field of sustainability and environmental studies where you often have animal rights and sustainability or environment hitting heads, bumping heads, because in a sustainability environmental arena, it's often about the species survival, but it's not necessarily about the individual animal's right to, to live and to thrive. Uh, and so for me, that's crucial and critical, and so I try to bring those together and think about how can you have both conservation and sustainability, but also uh, respect and engage the rights of individual sentient beings, and most people don't even want to have that conversation. It's been a dream of mine to live in a world where respect is mutual between humans and non-humans and we can have a relationship that's not only sustainable but um, a loving one and uh, I feel that uh, people such as Stephen and Jane Goodall have been doing so much towards like, you know, making this into a reality. Like Stephen said, it, you know, it's, it's a win just being here. Like we already won to be here, like standing here uh, to have this have this hearing and for all these people to show up. Like the security guard said that uh, he hasn't seen this many people show up at a hearing ever, so uh, this is a big step. So do you think in your lifetime that you will see um, chimpanzees have legal rights? Yeah. Not enough. Wise is optimistic about his chances for victory, but he is also realistic about the long road that lies ahead. If he wins this case, he realizes there is still a lot more work to be done. If he loses the case, he plans to appeal it and keep fighting. Either way, the battle is far from over. But at the same time, this case represents a huge step forward that is nothing short of remarkable.